Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Morocco. Ooh. So, guys, we have a cool new heir, the Sultan Muhammad I of Mantrain, where he's led us to not really much, actually. He's done very little, in fact. In fact, his, his entire reign so far has just been very, very peaceful, which, you know, isn't bad, per se, but, you know, isn't good. Yeah. Like, here's where he took over, and here's our really terrible father. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is, isn't that the same guy? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the same guy, but yeah. He took over, and he's terrible. Well, our father was terrible, but now we have a really good leader. He's really good for westernization, so if I want to do westernization, I have to get my economy up to that point. Which means I'm going to have to go to war with a lot of different people down here. Which, as soon as I get my colony, I'm going to start thinking about it. Um, You know, maybe I shouldn't. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was like, you know, maybe I shouldn't because they look like tribal despotisms. Wait, let me make sure about this. So yeah, they're, they're tribal despotisms. They're, oh gosh, they're part of me, and they're a part of me. Okay, so never mind. I thought there was something else, and okay, I'll see you guys in one second. Ah, uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, my mom was making ribs tonight and told me that it was time to go eat, and I was like, heck yeah! <laughs> I'll stop recording and go eat some ribs. And if somebody, if somebody in the comment section is mad about that, well, think about this. It's barbecued ribs, okay? My mom serenades them in, like, barbecue overnight, and then cooks it inside. Then from there we have a little bit of spicy sauce in between and oh my goodness they are heavenly. So just be drooling over that while I'm fast forwarding through time. Cause we're going through a time warp. Doo -doo. So right now we're about to go get some more betterments of exploration ideals which is really quite good. Um, we can also build some more temples which I'm going to start doing a little bit more often because building temples is really important. So let's see, what is, where do I want to build the next one? Um, we have 4.6, I think the 4.6 is probably going to win out. Ooh! Uh, 4.6, sort of, ah, I should build built on the 5.5, but 4.6 is pretty good for now. Like, this was a good colony. So yeah. Uh, we're about to also be done with our colony down in Trends and Trazara. Which is going to be nice, and we can finally get a new vestiture and ideas. Land of Opportunity! Ah! And next is Viceroy's Global Terrorists and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, uh, free colonists. I'm, so, I'm getting closer and closer to all my goals, but yeah. Um, what we're going to have to start doing, guys, is start doing some uh, campaigns against our friends of the uh, Mali. Do they have any alliances? No, they do not. This is like the best people to go to war with right now. So yeah. And since they're already like this far, okay, stop increasing the relationship with, oh, wait, no, don't cancel that one, don't cancel that one. <laughs> I was about to cancel my, uh, good one. Okay, but, um, since these guys have absolutely no one allied with, I'm just gonna start gaining cores on them. Because what we're gonna slowly start to do is, we're just gonna slowly, first we're gonna push them off the uh, coastline, so we can instantly start coring all this down here. And then we're just gonna instantly start invading them from there, I mean, it shouldn't take... Uh, let's be real here, it shouldn't take that much to beat these guys up and take all the land. I mean, they're African tech and, uh, like, a couple tech behind me, let's see. Yeah, I'm admin tech 7, they're admin tech, I mean, they're I mean, uh, military tech 2, and that's an African, which is pretty bad. So, yeah, we, we probably could instantly slaughter most of their armies, not, not by even trying, even. Just by, oh, look, the dead gym. Oh, look, the dead gym. Oh, our agent was discovered. Oh no, I really don't care. Molly can just go die, honestly, because they're gonna soon be part of my empire. Tarza is now a fully respected colony of mine. Oh god, good gracious that they are now respectable. Alright, let's see. Can I colonize Sarah? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, quick thought: Should I do this after or before I go to war? Hmm, let's see. How close are we to get getting that core? Um, a long time. Would these guys still give me military access? Probably not. Uh, they will. Wow. These guys are really forgiving. 
Uh, but I won't be able to get the core done until then, so yeah. Oh, what we could do is we could colonize over here. <laughs> hmm. Ah, eh, why not? Let's colonize over here for now. Because that was gonna. It's probably gonna take a little bit to get all this stuff and conquer everything and do all that. So, yeah, we have a mini war. We can also detach, like. I don't need that much. Like, one soldier and. Uh, one. Uh, infantry, you guys can go over there and protect this trade. Alright, let's keep building up our economy. Let's get another early rampart in these two places. Because we want to make sure we have two early ramparts in every single place. Because just in case if there's some kind of gigantic rebellion, we want to make sure we are well protected people. Okay, get back in close. Yeah, we're just, we're just zooming past everything. And exactly, native uprising. That's exactly why we send troops over there. Invest in bigger army! Uh, we gain our causes belly! Or oh, base tax and- Oh my goodness. Base tax, are you kidding me? <laughs> that means Tunis is now like, the place, and... It's- it's overshadowing my capital by a lot. I really- I really, really wanna make this my capital. Like, it almost seems like it'd be right, and maybe I could name it like... Hmm. Clever witty names. Maybe uh maybe not Tunis, but maybe Carthage. Hmm. That could be an idea. But while we're thinking of that lovely, cool little fantasy that we're living in, let me first declare war on my uh, hated rivals, the uh Mali. In fact, we'll even rival them now because they are really a threat to us and we must protect our nation's security. There we go. And we have like no diplo power, what? Spire fence, yeah, let's get some spire fence. Let's see how much money we're raising. Raise four time taxes. Okay. And start invading. Alright. We're gonna have to wait a little bit for their army to come to us. Oh wow, they come. <laughs> that was really quick. Okay, let me see. How big is their army again? Because I wasn't really wasn't really paying attention because I just figured I'd beat them even if they did have a big army. Mali has Wow. You know, it's always when I think I'm about to win that you really get your butt kicked. Okay, but let's just wait until they come back into my land. Okay. Let's just go destroy them. Stop them. No, they, they just want to challenge me. Okay. And with no leader, we smoke them. Wow. Okay, let's get our leader, a really terrible conquistador, in power. And we're going to go land our troops down in wharf. They're coming at us? Wow! These guys are insanely ambitious. Wow! They're still losing! Oh my goodness, that was like a terrible loss right there. Oh wow. Now let's, let's go chase this army a little bit. Cause that, that, that was a pretty bad loss right there. Oh gosh, and they're coming up through my land. It's, it's not really that big of a worry. Eh. Uh, that... Go back through my land just to make sure we can crush all these guys. Yeah, we'll catch, we'll catch all of them eventually. There we go. Oh, gosh. Yeah, this is, even with their superior manpower, he's yeah, still gonna get smoked by my army. Yeah, and that army got trapped. Let's go back down here, go back to Wharf. Oh, gosh. These guys. They must not be feeling the best right now, especially considering that the biggest and brightest armies are being demolished by me, and I'm not even really trying. And let's just split up our men to kind of give us a little bit less, uh, you know, manpower reduction. And let's build the final rampart so that we can instantly do some stuff. And let's just watch as the siege, I think the sieges go quickly. Wow, they go relatively far-fetched. And lose piety or gain piety? Gain piety. This is definitely a time to gain piety. So, uh, they're sending a 15k stack, which is fine. And they send an army to go after me again. Wow. They actually have a decent sized army right there, so I think I'm actually going to go send my men to go help. There we go, we crushed that army right there. Yeah, this is not turning out too well for them, I'm just saying that now. Like, almost all the attempts to try to eradicate me have been almost comical. In fact, let's see how they're doing in terms of power now. Molly, wow. <laughs> I obliterated their manpower. Oh gosh, that's kind of terrible. Because they, as you guys remember, they had 33,000, now they're only down to like 3k. We have 
d decimated them. They have absolutely nothing to give back. We we are basically the rulers of this place, and we haven't even really fought them that much. And slaves! Why does every single province of mine produce slaves? What are my people doing? Like seriously, local tax modifier. We can also get some local tax modifier. Um, I still say temples are a little bit better. I'm just gonna be honest. So let's get some more temples, cause base tax I think helps you out a little bit, a little bit quicker. And there's the last bit of Mali troops. Um, it's kind of sad that they attack me again. Oh my goodness, if I actually win this, go my men, go! Save my army! Wow, they still lost. You just, I don't know, you just gotta feel kind of sorry for them because it's just like, no matter what they do, I'm just gonna always win. And they have absolutely no manpower now. Is that correct? Yeah, they have absolutely no manpower, but how are they doing in terms of money? Because that could possibly save them. If they have money, they might be able to stand up against me. Let's see. Biggest treasury, Mali, 616. So they could potentially keep this going for a decent amount of time, but... I would still eventually wear them down. They're, they're definitely not going to be like, you know, all saving. I'm, I would kill a lot more. Basically, what I'm saying, guys, I would kill a lot more of them before they would ever get a dent into my army. So, that's all I'm saying. And they all die right there. Move right here. Yeah, this is, this is just a slaughter fest of epic proportion. Go down here. Just keep moving down. I'm waiting until I stop seeing men keep popping up and they'll start like doing more stuff 300 population yeah let's let's get some free colonies a free colonialist colonialist got some more technology also another group of ideals wow we are teching that was actually insanely quick so we got another tech group hmm oh shoot I <laughs> I didn't expect to get this so quickly. Um, uh, you guys are gonna have to excuse me for one second while I think this over. So give me one second. Okay, guys, back. Um, after careful consideration, I've decided that I'm going to go with the um. <coughs> <coughs> oh man, excuse me, guys. <laughs> didn't expect that to come out. Um. I basically had a tie between either administrative ideas or quantity ideas. I think I'm ultimately going to go with administration because I think it fits me just a little bit better. I was also thinking economic, but I was like, eh, we don't really need national tax modifier. And plus, that pro production will help us out. But I'm also kind of on the fence because this land modifier will really help us out, especially with the fact that our national manpower modifier is pretty low. In fact, the maximum manpower we can get is 23%, which, as you guys know, in EU4, that isn't really that much, so, and, hmm, gosh dang it, I'm rethinking this. No, no, I must stay with what I was going to do, all right? I ultimately decided that I'm going to choose quantity things, and I was thinking about expansionist, but I think ultimately quantity would help me out a lot more. So, there we go, I finally decided, and, yeah, I think I made the right decision there. We're going to get quantity, you know, quantity soldiers, I mean, we're not really big on the whole, like, building up on the whole army idea, and they're just going to keep throwing stuff at me, and I'm going to keep winning. This is a really sad war. I mean, it, it really is, because no matter what they do, I'm just always going to have a superior might. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know if that depresses anyone, but these, these guys, no matter how hard they fight, I will always beat them. No matter how hard they fight. I could, they could fight me, like, no tomorrow, and I would still beat them. Lose stability. I yeah, we could lose 100 Diplo. I don't really care. I'm waiting for when some poor African or poor nation just comes over here and starts colonizing towards me. So I can't wait till that happens. So... And I think in this war, yes, another colony. Let's get some more. Let's get some more power. Okay, and we could actually. Oh gosh, we could actually colonize right up to their border. It actually wouldn't be that bad. Let's go. Let's go, my men. In fact, we're even having help from our from our friends 
Oh gosh, they really are throwing everything at me. Go, my man, go. Wow, they still are losing quite heavily, though. In fact, I'll chase this army because I actually have enough to go chase it. Okay, you guys group up. You guys group up. We're going to go chase this army a little bit. I don't know what they're doing, but they are... <laughs> I, I don't think they're going to be able to stay in this war for long. Let's just say that. I, I think they're going to eventually start to lose too many of their battles to keep being able to recover. Like, how much is their money right now? Uh, Molly, 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 Molly. Let's start by country. This might make it a little bit quicker. Uh, Switzerland, Sweden, Norway, Niger, uh, Mali. 14% inflation, treasury 487. Yeah, I'm draining them pretty quickly. Um, if this war was about money, I would definitely go for that. And Regency. Uh, you know, it's a good thing I declared war. Gosh, <laughs> and that usually doesn't usually happen either because we're a Muslim, Muslim country, but gosh dang it. So, I mean, it's probably we won't, you know, have a great, yeah, it's a production efficiency and some of this guy, but it seems like that means we won't have, um, we won't have that great westernization, this guy, because I really do need to do some more stuff and they're basically like with all the battles we've been doing with them they're basically almost dead so I, I think in a couple turns I'm honestly gonna give up I'm gonna divide up my army go send some of these guys to go chase down the rest of these guys but what I want from this war is basically all of this coast so that I can kind of colonize and do more stuff like that and yeah I mean I mean, this is a pretty small idea, and Native Uprising quelled it right on the border between them, and I bet they're not very happy of it. Like, oh no, the, the enemy of our enemy is right on the border of us, and we're kicking their butts. Okay, let's go right here, destroy, they, they really like to go far, I don't know where, I'm gonna go find out where the secret stash of troops is, because I keep seeing more and more troops lift away from me. Seriously, it always happens. I'm always like, where the heck did they go? There they are. Go destroy them. Oh shoot, we might actually lose this. No, no, we still won. Yeah. It's not a good it's really not a good idea to give me all access to your land where I can actually go see what happens. Like, seriously. This this was a really bad really bad thing you guys did, Molly. Cause now I'm just going to just raid you entirely. Oh gosh. Okay, my backup troops are destroying the defenses of that poor, that poor city. Let's go down here. And this is the last part, place I really need to conquer, conquer before my peace deal is completely up. Destroy the last little bit of their army. Humiliate them a little bit more. Make them know that there was a new power. And except for when Castile becomes a jerk. And I didn't keep up my relationships with the mo with the uh Oh gosh. I completely forgot to keep up my relationships with these guys, so they broke off my alliance, didn't they? Okay, so this is gonna be like the first war since we have gone to war, so let's see. I need to do a couple things. One of the things I need to do is um first dock up all my navies. Let's see, where are my navies? Okay. You guys, go this way. Let's see, who are you guys going to call in the war? Portugal and Burgundy. Well, at least, I, I could probably deal with that. Okay, so, but move all of our troops away from the big, bad, nasty uh, Castilians. Just get back in the port. Um, you guys get back in the port, and we're just going to kind of hide there. Okay. And we're going to find out who joined in. Portugal, as I expected, I didn't expect them to do anything else, and... Now that I'm a war with a great power, that kind of does influence what I'm going to do. Not by too much, though. And, you know, it, to be honest, then I'm going to have to be blunt here. I don't think it'd be that bad if they, like, came in and conquered Tangiers. Um, mostly for the fact that, holy shoot, they already have an army here. That is amazing, and I already have cannons here. That's even more amazing. Okay. Wow. I didn't even get... Okay, let's build, like, one cannon... Let's get some more shock infantry. 
Okay, so yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be too terrible if they came in and took some land from there. Unbelievers game piety. Okay, <laughs> this is how this is all working out. But yeah, because I won't be able to go to war for like a couple years after this. So hmm. I have to think of this. This is like a major decision. But once I once I get that last little bit of land right there, okay, Molly, you better accept my peace deal because it's a pretty generous one. Uh, first, let me get back this guy. And I should have the Mamelukes start to help me because they are one of my allies. Slaves! Oh my goodness. Do I not get anything but slaves? Seriously? Oh gosh. It's one of my most hated things and yet all my people ever do is think about slavery. By the way, who could I release? Songhai. Uh, wouldn't really be worth it. Okay, and we could get this much land. Uh... Tons of overextension, but get some more money. There we go. That makes everything better. Just get some more money and it'll make everything better. Okay, they're already... Okay, these places, we expanded. Get some more stuff. The overextension is dang high. I can see that. Core, 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 core. Start coring everything. Keep about seven men up here. Um, start making some men over here, and we'll start doing the defenses of our land, because, <sighs> of course, we have to do defenses, and I wasn't really paying attention, but that's actually really good that they spread out their troops like that. Like, really good. To the point of, I'm actually kind of happy they did that, because now I can actually go fight them pretty logically without having to do anything, and let's see, suppress, 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 Suppress and suppress. Okay, we're just gonna group up our entire army that's not already colonizing. Oh, by the way, how close is our coloni colonists going? Not very close because we have lots of battles probably. And we're gonna group up all of our men. We're basically gonna go attack the weaker stacks of the of the uh, Portugal army. The Portugal could still. Oh shoot! Never mind. Never mind. Retreat. Retreat. Uh, let's, let's see if we can try to make it over here to this stack. Let's see, how much of Algiers army do we have? Not very much. Okay, you guys... Uh, let's see, can I just... No, they're not gonna... They're not just gonna let me have it, of course. This has to This has to be a big issue that you guys are gonna fight over. Well, let me see, how big of a tech gap are we talking? Oh my goodness, we are not gonna win this. <laughs> are, are you kidding me? We're probably gonna be squished underneath their wrath. Well... Okay, we're just gonna have to wait until, like, the army gets away. Once they start spreading out and sieging lots of stuff... Okay, go! We're gonna do this. We're just gonna quickly attack while they're not grouped up. Make sure they don't group up, because that would be really bad. And just try to see if we can go attack some of the smaller stacks. Oh, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just go stand on Tangiers. Oh, wait. That wouldn't actually be a smart move because this is actually pretty good land right here. Yeah, go stand out right here. Oof, okay. Almost feel like bringing these guys up. Yeah. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to bring these guys up. Let's try to make a gigantic army right there in the center. I know my colony is gonna suffer for this, but we need a good army size to beat these guys. Okay. We got a good army size. We're gonna go, we're gonna hopefully attach to the Mamelukes. Hopefully the Mamelukes aren't idiots when it comes to attacking. They might be idiots when it comes to attacking. Um, just, I'm gonna see what happens. Um, we could attack these guys, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna end in a gigantic... Oh yes, the, the turning back, okay, so... That many men could possibly turn the tides of battle. Okay, but this many men, not so much. Ooh, 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 come on guys, come on, come on, come on, come on, yes! Yes, okay, we did break one Portugalian fleet. Okay, and there we go. We did it. Yeah! Actually, how much of a piety gain do we have? We actually need to keep gaining piety. So, yeah. I may lose money, but that's okay. But yeah, oh my goodness, this is gonna be a, <laughs> this is gonna be an affair. I gotta admit that. And strangely enough, we actually seem like we have the betterment of the troops right now. And let's see, will these guys just let me let me concede defeat? 
and all they will take is Tangiots. Namako will pay Ducats. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'll accept this. A lot of people are going to be like, what? And like I said earlier, it's good to have at least one European power right next to you, you know, doing stuff. Uh, broke the alliance with us. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that was not good. That was not good at all. Okay, we increased relationships with them. Yeah, and besides, we were... Uh, Argentina or the Algiers are about to become one of our vassals or about to become part of us so it's good if they become our friends and we apparently lost the entire colony over here I was thinking that was gonna happen but wait 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 ah, dang it I was gonna recall that but apparently not so let's just like divide up a good sized army to go be sent down there to go protect it we don't really need that many troops down there but yeah, we just need some protection. But now since we have a good colonizing force, we don't have to worry about too much. And we just integrated the uh, massive... <laughs> we just integrated them into our society. Wow. Right when I was about to become really peaceful. Palicate the Mamelukes. Mission succeeds. Our opinion of us is at least 100. Did I do that? Uh, possibly. Wouldn't be that... I could actually get that, but... Protect our brethren, so we'll get Morocco, 5 prestige. What do I gain? 5 prestige, diplomatic power, 25 manpower. Hmm. Fortify Bamaluk. Actually, let's do this. This one's pretty easily because... Okay, where's Bamaluk? Bamaluk. Uh, avoid working on Bamaluk and making it score. Oh, I see. Alright, we're just gonna we're just gonna have to wait a little bit on that one. That's it. That's all. But... While we're waiting, we might as well build a temple in... Where's a good high grossing province right now? Uh... Ooh! 7.35! Yes! Alright, so that's it guys. We have taken a little bit of... Where are we? Are we li really, we're not even on the scale still? Morocco has... 16% trade power. We should be somewhere in here, I don't... How is Brittany gaining more trade power than we are? They aren't even in this node! Oh gosh, that makes me kind of angry. But yeah, guys, um... We now have our next door neighbors, the, uh... Mighty and powerful... You know, Castilians. Yeah, right next to us, and they just gained an important center of trade. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Somebody was probably yelling at me in the comment section saying that's why you don't want them to take that, but you know what? That's fine with me. I can lose the center of trade. We're expanding down here anyway, so it's not that important. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to see you guys next time.